closing in on a shot at glory. Which one of these two teams will qualify for the decisive match, the World Cup Final? We have all the action live coming up right here on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're now very much at crunch time. It's the semi-final of the 2023 World Cup. It's England, and they take on Australia. Well, this could be an absolute classic, and the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. The England first 11. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And now they get the ball rolling. Not a great pass. Sam Kerr. Now she could do a bit of damage. And Australia with the ball again. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Daly. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Could go ahead. And a goal! The opening statement in the semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Goal! And back underway. 1-0 it is. Russo on a pass that lacks quality. Sam Kerr. Here's Rasso. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, no problems defensively.
and a long way out. Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. And there's the delivery, and still dangerous. Oh, good save. Excellent header. And the corner has been given. And over it comes. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Hayley Rasso. On to Kerr. Oh, moving it nicely. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Intense pressure. Teammates available. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here's the replay, and it's the perfect ball in. Hard and low, causing plenty of issues for that back line. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Daly. Hemp. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And crossed in there. A real challenge for the goalkeeper. And that's an important intervention. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Stanway. Georgia Stanway. Chloe Kelly. And Australia recovering possession well. Still passing it around with authority. The fist of the goalkeeper. And on it. Big chance. Oh, and it goes. The opening goal in this semi final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick reply from England? There needs to be. Ford. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. And with that, the attack fizzles out. This might be ideal for the counter. Must be! And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And the 
weren't behind for long. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. England unable to hang on to the ball. Caitlin Ford. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Making progress. Takes aim! Well, in the final analysis, not quite precise enough. Goal kick here. Ella Toon, Lauren Hem, setting off perhaps a little bit too much here, unable to keep the ball that time. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go, still level here but the pressure escalating. It's got to be! And it's come off the keeper. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Well, the stats back up what we've seen so far. Some good attacking football, chances for both teams, and plenty to enjoy. Let's hope for more of the same. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Simple catch, really. We'll be impressed here. And that'll be England's throw-in. Bronze. Stanway. It might be. Oh, she gave it a go and put it wide. So making the substitution now. Courtney Vine intercepting it intelligently the cross is on and winning it back oh fine stop
And over it comes. An example of how to press. Into the final 20 minutes. Lauren Hemp. Ella Toon. And England pushing forward with options available. And it might be. Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in this semi final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Fine. Now with Gori. Now moving the ball impressively here. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Stanway. Read it well. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. It needs an accurate cross. Must be! And able to get a body in the way. And the substitution will occur now. Played over. Oh, it's in! Can you believe it? Back on level terms, and the dream of making the final is very much alive again. Incredible! Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. They've restarted the game, and it's three apiece. On the attack, is there to be late drama? And clears the danger. And take it away. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. And that was a very fine read. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Now sliding in field. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And they stopped them in their tracks. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time.
Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Good pressure high up the pitch. Well, tremendous block. Oh, surely! And the keeper got there. Delivering it. Well, no end product. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Can they forge ahead? Can be comfortable in bringing that ball down. And they have. Surely! Well, look at this again, because this is a really well-worked goal. The passing is incisive, the movement off the ball is bright, and it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. Really vital interception here. Fowler. Well read to win possession back. Simon. Now with Ford. An alert piece of defending. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And she finds the back of the net. Right place, right time. And delivering for her team. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. Goal! That's it. Half-time in extra time. The second period still to come. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. And options in the center. Struggling to get it away. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Simon. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Neve Charles. James. Good work from Australia to win the ball back.
Steph Catley. An Australia throw coming up. Kaya Simon. No possibilities inside the box. Has a go. Well, closed down straight away. Really a very poor ball. Happy to take on the shot. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And they need to get tighter. And there goes the whistle. Music to the ears of all their fans. They've only gone and made it through to the World Cup final. Well, it was always going to be tight, but they just about had enough energy and quality in that extra time to take them through to the final. Yes, there'll be some tired legs out there, but they won't care about that. What a final we've got in store for us.